welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we will be taking a look at a program called mine assemble now this is a minecraft clone written almost entirely on the assembly language on the x86 assembly language now if you are pretty new and you don't know what an assembly language is it's basically a low level programming language for a computer or for that matter any programmable device uh, it in which there is a very strong correspondence between the language and the machine's architecture uh, machine code instructions so that means when you are uh, programming in an assembly language you are directly interacting with the uh, individual registers and, and ALU and other stuff like that that happen to be on the CPU there is no intermediate code or libraries that are present now if you are in the world of programming and have had programming background you would know that it's a common notation that programming in an assembly language is extremely difficult now I do say it's a common notation because people who have grown up uh, learning assembly language uh, from the start do find it pretty easy to work with but compared to modern day high level programming language it is very difficult task to actually use uh, assembly language to program anything useful in today's hardware now that everything has gotten so uh, complex so today we will be looking at a program called mine assemble by overv this is the same uh, person who uh, created the vram fs program that was on one of my previous videos where i created some uh, ram drive using my gpu memory so the same person has created this program now i found this on his github page uh, although this uh, has been updated last updated four years ago it's still a nice thing to take a look at and to see uh, how much complex you can actually get with the assembly language where this person actually created a whole uh, game a whole uh, clone of minecraft uh, purely or for the most part of it in the x86 assembly language so let's take a look at it so i will be using vmware workstation to run this you can theoretically run it directly uh, on your uh, hardware there are videos showing it running directly on the hardware but because i have a graphic card uh, it doesn't seem to work that well so let's go ahead and try it on on vmware workstation that way it will actually be easy for me to grab the screen now the resolution is pretty low alright so this is the welcome screen just gives you a quick introduction and then um, gives you the controls on how to work with them so we just uh, press enter to start and this is our main world it is not as big as you would expect but then again everything you can make it as big as you want so the cube key will place a block and the E key will de delete the block so I think uh, we can do some great stuff with this so again this is everything is coded in that assembly language now of course this game by itself is nothing major but the pure uh, but the sheer fact that it is uh, that it has been coded in assembly language makes it really really awesome and well that's why it's on this video so let's see if we can make something up with this So uh, now I have tried this on a bunch of emulators and this has uh, the VMware has given the best experience so far um, on QEMO emulator it was uh, barely running so you could actually see the whole scenery scanning and after a few seconds it would just hang 
uh, on virtual box it actually ran uh, a lot smoother than on vmware but uh, it had some sticky keys issue where if you press a key for too long it uh, it will actually um keep the key pressed even if you released it so that actually doesn't work that well so um vmware it's a bit slower than um let's say uh, virtual box and when when you move i don't know how well it's uh, being shown on the video but when i move i can see uh, the screen being scanning a lot of screen tear is there but um in reality it's actually a lot stable to work on so if you guys are planning to go ahead and try this out make sure you do it on um, vmware that's the best choice if you cannot get it to run or uh, natively on a uh, x86 hardware so uh, that's about it i will be linking the project down in the description your huge shout out to alexander who created this uh, software although th it has been a long time but still awesome for what it does and what it is and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one